Hi Virgo and welcome to your June. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Virgo. And we can take a look at the cards. We can get a sense of the energies and messages to help guide you through June. So let's see what the cards want you to know. So the first two cards I choose, that's the awareness for the week. So the awareness of the week is the Knight of Pentacles, an earth sign, very grounded, very pragmatic, and uses common sense. This is a card of someone who is working hard. So you are applying yourself, you are paying attention to details, you are leading a team perhaps, but you're doing everything in your power to do a great job. You're putting in the hours, you're putting in the time and the energy, the energy to make things come out really good. You can see he's on his horse, he's holding his pentacle, he's looking out over his fields and he's observing. So this is a matter of doing whatever you need to do, of writing, editing, thinking, planning, writing it out on paper for how you're going to proceed for the week. How are you going to attack the projects that you're handling? There's a lot of devotion here. Uh, sometimes too much work to the exclusion of having fun and doing uh, things away from, from the goal that you're trying to accomplish. And so just be mindful of that, that this is a card of hard work. Some may say, He's a grunt and he's really doing what he needs to do, but he is focused. He's focused on that pentacle. He's probably focused on how to triple or quadruple the pentacle and to take care of the lands. And so you can rely on this energy this week that if, you know, you, you may be working on something that you really want to nail and do a super job. So then we have the, the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is this card of really the Wheel of Life. It's the movement of life. The wheel is always spinning. Seasons change. We always have change in our life. You know, we, we, we age, we get older, our bodies change, our perspectives change. And so this is really about how in life you're at a certain point and then here the Wheel of Fortune is spinning it may land in another place and, and uh, at a moment's notice, things can change from you. You may feel as if you're on top of the Wheel of Fortune and you could end up on the bottom of the Wheel of Fortune, but there's movement here. It's the randomness of life and its events. What's important is to think about how you respond to these events. What uh, do you allow it to knock you off your feet or do you take it in stride and you, stride and you absorb it? And you say, okay, I can handle that. I think there's a degree of flexibility needed. You have to think about how life just kind of randomly puts things in your path and we deal with them. And we, we use our will to deal with them. So it's a combination of not only the, the universe dropping these changes, but it's a matter of our willpower and our, what we're, looking for that kind of directs us as well. So be flexible, be mindful that things can change in a moment and how you respond is really the key piece of advice that I would share uh, for you for the week. Now I'm going to choose two cards for guidance. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this Nine of Pentacles woman, 
She is finely dressed. She's in her walled garden and she has these pentacles on the wall with grapes in abundance, a bird on her hand. She is comfortable. She has earned some sense of stability and comforts at her home and she's able to enjoy them. She's that bird is important because that's something that she enjoys doing. Now she is by herself here in this garden and it goes to being independent and to perhaps having to sacrifice or do all the things that you need to do in order to become successful. You have to be diligent. You have to have a plan. You got to roll with the punches. And when you're able to do that, make sacrifices and to adapt, then you can be successful. So here's the Knight of Pentacle who's working, working away. And here's the, uh, the independence of the, I'm sorry, this was the Knight of Pentacles, this is the Nine of Pentacles, who is uh, enjoying the fruits of her labor, who has worked hard, perhaps gotten to this place in life where is able to go out into the garden and just take a deep breath saying, hmm, I've accomplished what I've hoped to accomplish. And along with this sense, strong sense of independence, here's another very independent woman or man, excuse me, king of swords. And this king, he looks kind of stern faced, but he's sitting on his throne. He's got his blade, his sword. The sword is powerful and it brings um, clear thinking. It brings logic and analysis and reason. So whatever problems or concerns or things that you're working through, apply the, the, the uh, attributes of the King of Swords, this air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and um, be very informed. This is do all the homework, do the research, understand exactly what you're getting yourself into, understand all sides of an issue. You're making decisions based on fact and what you see versus really from your emotional center. So this is have the clarity, speak directly, speak clearly, use the strength of clear communication to deal with wheel of fortune issues, to get yourself into a position of success. You have to be able to communicate. And really the King of Swords, when I see the King of Swords, there's a part of me that will say it's, it's clearing out the people that don't serve you, is that he hasn't he doesn't have time for nonsense. There's no time for people who are full of whatever. So uh, cut them out and focus on what you need to do in order to reach your goals and to uh, create the relationships that you want or the travel or whatever it is that you're hoping to achieve in life. Don't waste time on people who don't help you. And finally, I'm going to choose two cards for possible outcome. Whoops, try not to drop them. Okay. Possible outcome, the Knight of Wands. Wand energy, following passions, getting excited, jumping in getting involved, not waiting idly on the sideline. This knight is in full stride here. He's got his wand raised up. He's ready to have some fun, to do something, to have an experience, to have an adventure. So possible outcome is here with all of this uh, random events happening and this independence. This is move it out and do something. Use your personal power and go out there and network, socialize, plan trips, um, do something fun for yourself. Two very different mindsets here with the Knight of Wands ready to charge right in and the Knight of Pentacles ready to study the situation. And then finally we have the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands, we see this guy who is pushing the wands up the street. And this is a card about being tired, exhausted and taking on probably more than you can handle. And that is feeling like a burden. It's feeling for the potential of resentment. 
you know, when we have so much on our plate and people don't chip in and it's like, well, I'll do that. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Think twice about that because again, this is a lot of work. There's no play here. Like the nine of pentacles at least has her bird to rely on, but this is hard work and energy and effort to move it up that hill. Try to get people to help out, to share the load. He's working hard and maybe he needs a break as well. And the break is to have some fun here. The fun like the Knight of Wands is going to just get right in and enjoy. So let's get a little more information um, from this Oracle card. This will be a practice area or meditation point for the month. This is sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. So very simple advice, something to think about, which is to forgive in order to heal. So if you have, uh, if you have heated words with someone, if you have a very clear and direct discussion that maybe puts somebody off, you know, uh, give them some space, show them some love, see the light in the situation. Just simply good advice. And now let's get a little more information for emotional self or spiritual self. Self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. So as you work hard, as you work to deal with the randomness of life and the events and how things move quickly and decisions having to be made and situations having to be dealt with and adventures to be had, don't forget to pay attention to yourself and to love yourself and that through love, it's taking care of yourself mentally, spiritually, um, emotionally, in, in all senses. So eat, exercise, and rest. You know, give yourself a break. And then finally, I'm going to choose a card for love. And we will see what the cards want us to know with respect to love. Spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So that's pretty heavy that perhaps this has been something that uh, it's been around for a long time. Do you ever meet somebody that you have that connection? Like, wow, I feel like I've known them my entire life. That they're so familiar. And it's so interesting to think about what really may have been. Did you know them in a previous life? Uh, maybe you were together a thousand years ago, but it is a, that connection is present for some where you meet someone where you really have that sense that I've, I've known this person for a long, long time. So for those that are in a relationship, perhaps you have that sense. And for those that are looking, perhaps you're going to meet someone where you really have that powerful connection. So Virgo, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Like, share, or comment. And um, I thank you for your time in watching. And I'll see you again. Bye-bye.